As Americans, all of our individual liberty depends on limited government spending. I'm talking about every area of our life. Federal, New York State, local, especially local. And I don't think everyone quite realizes how much local spending has an impact on our life. Now, before I tell you anything about the budget, you know I'm running for school board. But just a little credibility from my background. I came from a boutique consulting firm that went into PricewaterhouseCoopers, where I ran the budget, uh, zero which was called a zero-based budget for an intelligence agency in Washington, D.C. I ran budget cycles for federal agencies. Don't even get me started on waste. I ran budget planning, strategic planning for Fortune 500 companies. And I just want you to know about that my background, that I'm not a guy who has just walked off the street to hurl rocks at the school district. This is what I do. Set a strategy, solve problems, and grow into something great. Accomplish a goal and put a measure to it and make sure we actually accomplish that goal. Now, <clears throat> I'm really tired of seeing friends move out of New York into Carolina, Tennessee, and just say, I can't afford it in here anymore. I'm asking for your guys' help to not throw in the towel. To say that Long Island and Farmingdale are something worth fighting for, and we don't have to let local taxes go out of control like this. I'm asking you to hold the line with us. All we're asking for about this year's budget and for our vision of getting on the board is to just hold the line on the taxes. Just freeze the tax increase. Just give us a chance to call a timeout on the field and evaluate what is really going on with administrative spending and make sure that spending is investing in something that's focused, like academics improvement. It's not a big ask. We're just asking for a freeze on the tax hike. Stand with us. You know, we want Farmingdale to be affordable for our kids, for the next generation to be able to afford living here. And that's all we're asking. So let's get into this year's budget and see what's really going on from the board president. If our community votes no to the budget versus if our community votes yes to the budget. If our community votes no to the budget, it will still be an increase of $8 million of $191 million. If our community votes yes to the budget, it will be $194 million. If our community votes yes, we will be increasing the budget $11 million. If our community votes no, we will be increasing $8 million. Now what I'd like to understand from our board president is why He's proposing that our community should fund this $11 million increase for more electives in the high school, like Virtual Enterprises International, some class called Bites and Bugs. That is out of the board president, Ralph Morales' budget, that he is telling you to vote for. However, his staff plan adds no new staff to the high school. Staff added in the plan are in the middle school and in the transportation office. That does not match what they're telling you as a community. Now listen to this. If you vote against this budget, even though it's increasing $8 million, the board president, Ralph Morales, is telling you that you will be losing music programs sports programs, larger class sizes. So maybe you guys as a community can contact the board president and ask why he needs $11 million from you to fund these electives that have nothing to do with the areas that we're failing in academically. And if you were to vote no, even though they have an extra $8 million, are going to cut the things that are actually doing great right now like Farmingdale Music and Sports.